I'm cycling around the world and suddenly I heard meowing coming from behind me. And this wee guy meowing his heart out occasionally. So aye, right, day's changed. Now it's trying to find a wee pal at home. Because some just obviously came up here and dumped them. My first thoughts was I wasn't going to take her. I just couldn't leave her there on her own. I'll be my place for going. I cleared out a bit of space on my bike and put her in the front of the bag. And then she climbed out and climbed up onto my shoulder when I was cycling. And I got her a passport and a microchip. and I decided to take her on this journey. She just came with me ever since. Spending all the time with her, just basically fell in love with her, with her character, and she's just a brilliant cat. You would think cycling through a city would scare her, but no. Everything I do, I've got to do it with her. And it makes the journey more exciting as well, going around the world with a cat. I was really wanting to just get across the world, but now I'm not really bothered how long it takes. Just watch her enjoy it. I think I broke my ankle. Uh, luckily for me, there's a hospital just across the road. And then God knows what I'm gonna do. To see if I can still side of the bike. So today, went up and picked up her new wheels. This is the first time now I've seen it. What do you think? Hey. What do you think? Going home for a couple of weeks, see the family, let them all meet Nala. It's seven o'clock in the morning. Now for a 22 hour drive back home. We're going through Austria, through Germany, through Belgium, to France, across the tunnel, up England, Scotland. two days driving, but we're finally home. Gran! Gran! Can you see what he's got on his shoulder? It's Dean! It is, well, turn round and look. Hello. <laughs> <laughs>